I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But Mary was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. God will not let your foot be moved. God who keeps you will not slumber. God who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. And now, Mary, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time on and forevermore. Sender of the divine message, your seven archangels' voices sing and stand glorifying the Almighty and serving the hidden mystery. Michael the first, Gabriel the second, and Raphael the third, symbol of the Trinity, Sarael, Sakakael, Saratael, and Anael. These are the shining ones the great and pure ones who pray to God for humankind, the cherubim, the seraphim, the thrones, dominions, powers, and the four living creatures bearing the chariot of God, the 24 elders in the church of the firstborn, praise them without ceasing, crying out and saying, Holy is God, heal the sick. Holy is the Almighty, give rest to the departed. Holy is the Immortal, bless thine inheritance. May thy mercy and thy peace be a stronghold unto thy people. May your messengers carry the divine message throughout all creation. Holy, 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 Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Intercede for us. O angels, our guardians, God's messengers, and all of the heavenly hosts share.
In the time of dead things it is living, in the moonless gray night is a gleam. Still the babe that is quickened may conquer, the life that is new may redeem. O oh, princes and priests, have you heard it? Grow pale through your scorn. Huge dawns sleep before us, stern changes, a child is born. More than legions that toss and that trample, more than choirs that bend Godward and sing, than the blast of the lips of the prophet, than the sword in the hands of the king, more strong against evil than judges that smite and that scorn, the greatest, the last, and the sternest, a child is born. There must be always remaining in everyone's life some place for the singing angels, some place for that which in itself is breathlessly beautiful. And by an inherent prerogative, throwing all the rest of life into a new creative relatedness. Something that gathers up in itself all the freshness of experiences from drab and commonplace, areas of living, and glows in one bright light of penetrating beauty and meaning, then passes. The commonplace is shot through with new glory. Old burdens become lighter. Deep and ancient wounds lose much of their old, old hurting. A crown is placed over our heads that for the rest of our lives, we are trying to grow tall enough to wear. Despite all the crassness of life, despite all the hardness of life, despite all the harsh discords of life, life is saved by the singing of the angels.
In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child laying in a manger.
Praise the Lord, praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise God in the heights. Praise the Lord, all God's angel. Praise God, all heavenly hosts. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for the divine name alone is exalted. God's glory is above heaven and earth. Amen. Accustomed to courage, exiles from delight, live coiled in shells of loneliness until love leaves its high holy temple and comes into our sight to liberate us into life. Love arrives and in its train comes ecstasies, old memories of pleasure, ancient histories of pain. Yet if we are bold, Love strikes away the chains of fear. 
for our souls. We are weaned from our timidity in the flush of love's light. We dare be brave and suddenly we see that love costs all we are and will ever be. Yet it is only love which sets us free.
Glories stream from heaven afar, Gloria. Gloria in excelsis Deo, for love arrives in Jesus, the child that on this earth keeps safe all manner of things. Behold, angel voices again now sing as the messengers mingle with the message and joy rings out into our world. By the singing of these angels, may you be blessed. May fear disperse upon the hills of hope's arrival. May old wounds be healed. May salvation's song sound in your hearts. May love set you free. And may God in Christ Jesus guard your going out and coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Bye.